Hey everybody, welcome back to COVID Connect and this fourth video in our series on American Saints. Today, we're gonna focus on Venerable Augustus Tolton, who is the first recognized black man to be ordained a priest in the United States. Father Tolton was actually born in slavery in Missouri in 1854, but his family escaped during the Civil War and they came to settle in Quincy, Illinois. They were a Catholic family and they tried to join the local parish, but they were met at first with incredible hostility and threats and bigotry because of their race. Eventually, the pastor of the parish stepped in and stood up for them. He defended them, he made sure Augustus could go to school, and he even trained Augustus as an altar server. So Augustus grew up in this parish with this priest and he eventually decided to become a priest himself. But the problem was he couldn't find a single seminary in the entire United States that was willing to take on a black man. So he ended up having to go to Rome to study for the priesthood. After he was ordained, he really wanted to go on mission to Africa because he did not want to go back to the United States and he didn't want to face the same discrimination and racism he had faced growing up. But he was actually ordered to go back to Illinois and serve as a parish priest. And he was disappointed, but he accepted. Right from the start, Father Tolton was a really popular priest. He was a very eloquent speaker, he was a very holy man, and he was even musically gifted. He could even play the accordion. But some of the white priests of neighboring parishes were jealous of his success, and they were resentful that so many of their white parishioners were going to the church of this black priest. So they had the bishop forbid Father Tolton from ministering to white Catholics. And Father Tolton ended up leaving the diocese and going to Chicago, where he was put in charge of a community of black Catholics. He spent the rest of his life in this community, building it up and even constructing a church for the black Catholic community. And because there was so much poverty in that area, he also traveled around the country speaking and raising money for his parishioners. Eventually, Father Tolton died of a heat stroke at the age of 43. Now, Father Tolton faced incredible hostility and bigotry throughout his life, even from fellow Catholics. He experienced the church at its very worst in some of the pretty profound sinfulness of its members. But he also experienced the incredible beauty of the church too. He knew that it was from God, he knew that great people existed within it, and he knew that when people cooperated with God's grace, they could transform lives. Father Tolton never abandoned the church, and he devoted his life to that church so that he could be a tool of carrying out God's grace to the world. 